We are going to see a new tutorial that is drawing sheet editor. The drawing sheet editor is the same that you see at the background of every schematic or the every PCB project inside the KiCad. Now you will first ask should I even learn or is there any need to understand how these sheets are made. Actually uh, for the small projects or say uh, just for the beginner uh, it's it's not so important but when you go for say version wise product say you make first version second version third version at that time you may need to note down all the edits which uh, prototypes or which steps you have taken for that schematic sheets editor or the drawing sheet editor is useful now in this tutorial I have uh, to make a sheet or the custom sheet I just open the KiCad the version I am using is the 7th, uh, seventh KiCad version so I will click on it drawing sheet editor ok so I am going to explain you few tips that you may not uh, uh, find somewhere else and so uh, and it, I learned those as per experience and uh, expensing few hours for that. So first of all, I just open up the document here. It's an official document by from the KiCad. Just few points I want to show you that this is the reference. This is the reference, or this is the sheet reference corner and coordinates. Now it's not uh, it's not a normal x y coordinates. Each cor each corner say left corner uh, left right left top left bottom corner left uh, right corner etc each corner has increasing x and increasing y see increasing x and increasing y uh, on all the on all the corners so that is the first thing that you should understand it's not decreasing x or decreasing y it's all increasing x and y depending on the corner you choose <coughs> So next, these are some variables, say percentage and percentage, Repl it will be replaced by second character. So K is for KiCad version, Z is for the format you use, Y is for the company name, D is for the date, R is for the revision. It's like a variable, percentage is uh, just like a variable, after the percentage, whichever uh, character you use, it will, pre uh, it will show the uh, depending variable value so uh, those are the two things that you must uh, understand how what is the coordinate system and what are these variables now next let's jump to the editor now here in the editor when I am uh, showing you the first thing uh, if you are trying this first time you will observe the grid for this page the grid for this page is not not aligned at your screen so that is very uh, first that is very important how to set up the grid and if you see each and every uh, menu here there is no option for setting the grid after spending two to three hours i found out you have to right click on the page and when you right click on the page there is a grid option when you find out uh, which grid you want to use say 1 millimeter 5 millimeter I am I am uh, comfortable with 1.27 so I selected 1.27 that is the first important step to set up the grid next to set up the page so in this stage we have to tell the guy cat which page format or which page size you are going to use so which is page preview setting in this page preview setting set up the a4 a3 <coughs> which type of page you want to use so i set up as a4 landscape okay so this was the uh, just primary setting that you should do you should uh, start with next thing there are two types of corners page corner and margin 
and as uh, as I have told you, uh, select the left upper corner. So top paper corner is here, and then left top page corner is here. So let's start with the page corner. So I have uh, given the origin from where all the coordinate system will start. Now to to edit, uh, these are just the small components. This is a line. This is a number. This is text. This is a line. Then again, this is a text, text, text. And for those components or for those objects or widgets, you will see the properties on the right hand side. Okay. So let's start with the blank. So I will select each and everything, and let's delete it. So you have just the blank page. Now, first thing that you have to uh, do, or just it depend on uh, your experience or what type of work you want to start. So let us create first a rectangle here. Now remember, there is no importance where you draw this rectangle. So because I have given the reference here, so when I draw this rectangle. First thing I want to give is upper left. This is the position. This is this is the position of that corner, and this is the end position. So let's give it as a zero and zero for the upper left. It's same as the origin that you have given already. So let's apply. So it has aligned. So next thing now you will say what about this point? So you can extend it what uh, to the point which you want. Okay, so I have drawn first square. So let us start with the title block. So again, I click on this rectangle. So just give your title block. Okay. Now you just you can you can drag and drop this whole thing. It depends on your uh, what you want to do. Next, just let's give it a title. Okay. So this is the simplest title block. You can make it uh, even complex. So I I had I will add one notes box also. So this is the notes box. Okay. So this is the notes box I have added. Now you you should understand which uh, what is this the, this part is for what is a uh, this pillar part is for and how to use this uh, bits notes after the printing so let us start with text the line and rectangle we have covered next is text now text is one of the important part here so we select the text then let us zoom in zoom in and drop the text okay so text is dropped now the properties has been opened now this text width text height is single character you, you just uh, make a mental note it's for the single character so i will make it as a 10 and 10 okay and let's apply it okay so this has been applied this is the first text so let's make it bold okay this is bold this is slash and apply Okay, you can make whatever uh, the changes you want. Now see, this text is not changeable. This is not a variable text. This is a fixed text. So depending on the variable, depending on the comment that you add, that you queue while you set up, uh, draw the schematic, this text will change. So I will show you how, how to do that. So again, uh, first of all, I will give the notes here again. So this part is done. Next, let us uh, understand how to give the variable. So for that, there is one syntax dollar sign. So I will put the text here. Then in the first box, this first editing box, we will write dollar, and it will show up the variables. What type of variable you want to show? So let us. I will say comment two. 
I have set up the command to I will apply it. Now this will give the command to variable here. In the same way you can give up to the seven commands. So I for the demo I will show you with the command to. So this is the variable. This is the variable text. Now last thing uh, or the uh, last thing is adding a bitmap or the logo. So this is the bitmap image adding a bitmap image. So I have created one image already. So I will add that. So I added this image. You can give any position whatever you want. So in this way, this is the simplest type of a schematic sheet. You can make you can make it even complex, say making a columns for which component you use, which component, what is the size, or uh, some few parameters you, after the printing. Now. Uh, in this uh, at this time uh, at this point of time you have made a simplest sch uh, schematic sorry uh, sheet now you don't know yet how it will look for your design so for that you have this option this is a preview mode in this preview mode whatever the variable point a variable you have given or which variables or the which fixed text is there which image is there you can observe it whether it looks okay or not and this is a edit mode in this way you can select the preview and edit mode so let's give some variables before moving to the main project so we will give the variable to the command to and let us see how it will look so this is the edit preview data this is a preview data that you can give so i just give This is, the, this is the variable that will be replaced with the command. So we are still in edit mode just to check. We will go you can give also but uh, we have not uh, set up those uh, uh, variables so it will not show up so comment to we have here added here and then okay now see this is the preview file this is the text this is the logo and it will be uh, it will be available throughout the schematic now let's move to PCB Set up sheet. Okay. See, in this way, you can use it in both whether it is a PCB editor, whether it is a schematic editor. So, that was the tutorial. Now, let's see what are the plus points that you should understand on how you can use this uh, editing uh, or why you should use it so I just searched few points online so these are what these are some title blocks uh, you can go and study those also and just select and go go with one professional format it gives you a professional look also and that way uh, it, it it can be useful to create a 
image or making a powerful impact on your client so this was the tutorial so this was the tutorial about uh, schema edit, uh, sheet editor that is the drawing sheet editor and i hope next time you will make your own sheet and you will make uh, use of that so i hope you like this concept and uh, like this tutorial so subscribe comment and hit like button thank you